Corden, and we can start right where we left off. Hi. So here it say that ni totte tai setsuna koto no ho you sin you sen shimasho or you sen shimas. I prioritize towards the important thing that is weather method more than that of myself. Hi. Or in other words, it, even more than that of myself. Hi. I prioritize things that are more I prioritize things that are important to Wedemeto more than the things that are important to myself. Hi. Um Anata e no sui hore wa tekaishi masho. Let let's or not let's it's masho means the volitional. So I will. Hi. I'm going to. I I I'm going to rescind it the the order of exile that apply to you. Perfect. And do you know what no de means? No de is the um the explanatory particle, right? Because hi, hi, of hi. this, that no. I will do. Yeah. Perfect. Um Tadashi. And so Tadashi is therefore. Mm, kind of the opposite. It's however. However. Hmm. Tadashi. tadashi. It's 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 kind of like dramatic. Dramatic, however. Tadashi. Like shikashi is also kind of like like more literal rather than like demo demo is very like whatever mm. but skashi and tadashi feel are more like uppity wakata hitotsu demo nanika mondai o kikoseba o okoseba okoseba futatabi suiho shimasu Kara ne. So, however, even with just one, itotsu demo, nani ka mondai o, any sort of problem, okoseba, that you would, that in the case that, that you, that could, that would occur, she doesn't specifically say he's the cause of the problem, she just say, Mondai o koseba. If, if a problem is cause, if even a problem one, is cause, and if is the ba. Hi. Um, futata bi one yet again, one more time. Sui ho shimas, I will again exile. Kara ne, mm. and she say, kara is the um explanatory particle. Also, it's saying. Because this would be the reason. Yeah. Ne meaning the softener. Okay. Do you oh. understand? Basically. Right. Um Hanab Hanabi firework. Hanabi o suita. Machutsu no. In this kanji, I don't remember, but it stands for experimentation. It so does. Jiken. Jiken is a test also, right? So you take a jiken for your, your um, Japanese. That's pronounced as something else. Uh, what is test? Um, that is incident we just wrote. Well, yeah, it's definitely not that. What is test? It does sound similar to that, but now it's what, not uh, in my brain. So I remember the workbook for like the JN. The, the, shiken. Shiken is a shiken. test. It's a test, an exam. A she, hi. Ah, uh, she can is a test, but a chicken is an experiment. Hi. The kens are the same. Ah, uh, hi. So she's saying, kinshimasu, meaning it's it's forbidden. Hi. Kinjimasu. What is forbidden? Experimentational magic that uses fireworks perfect so majitsu is a little bit different than the word maho 
you happen to know how it's a little bit different? Mahol referring to the category of magic. Hi. Majutsu referring to the subcategory of the technique hi, 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 hi. of the use of magic. Perfect. And how do you say use in Japanese? So, uh, so the root form or the the short form is sui suru, right? No, it's a suzuku. It's to use. That's close. So it does start with tu, you're right. Tuzuku is to continue. This is to kau. Oh, so kau. Ka. So this is tsukata. Tsukata. Hi. So this is the ta form that modifying the noun. So it's Hi. an adverb saying that, I'm sorry, it's an adjective, it's an adjective in a way. Yes, it's, it's a relative a clause, which is an adjective clause. Hi, it's a relative clause. So it's he, hanabi o sukata, that which uses firework. Hi. In this mm. case, magical spell experiments that use fireworks. Magic experiments. Chicken. Chicken. It is ginjimas. Uh, tsugi wa yosha shimasen yo. Uh, yosha here has two kanji. One is that of a, a I think it shows up in the word pedigree. Pedigree. But yeah, the yosha is a pardon. But uh, yo, I think a pretty sure shows up the word for pedigree. So I can't remember how it's pronounced, but I feel like I saw that not that long ago. Yosha, yosha, yosha. So that is to pardon. Suki wa yosha shimasen. The next time, Hi. there will, I will not pardon shimasen. Hi. I will not pardon. Perfect. Yo is the particle that indicate. Uh, this is a new piece of information that you need to regard to. Yo, exclamation mark in a way. Uh, no ne no nenburi. Yonme. Uh, what we ra The fourth no ne no to be yoka. The fourth day of the month. Hi, the fourth day of the month, which is which is a fantasy name of no nen buri, which is a joke um for November. No uh, November, but uh, it's not. It's it's fake November. November. It's fake November. It's magical November. <laughs> That's why it's not November. It's no nen buri. Uh, they should have in the Japanese version did some kind of like joke, but that's um right. what that is. That's a joke off of the word November. Does, have you came across like real life Japanese letter money? Is it normal for them to sign date and name like this? Uh, definitely the name. I'm not sure about the date stuff. I am not. I I don't really have a pen pal. I don't know. I see. Sorry. Look at that. Your other Japanese teacher. Cute, they cute, would know. Just a curiosity. Um, <laughs> so she signed day and month and then her name, Wira. For, in, for uh, reds, English reds. letters, normally we don't have a address at the end. So I don't know why there's an address there, really. Um, in most letters, you normally start with the address, you know, like when, November blank, hi. Alright, so mm. I don't know. Hi, onna onna koshaku kara. Um, this is the noun for reply. So Hi. henji. Yep. Henji ga kita. It said that the reply. Wow. From the Duchess arrive. Right. Shikashi, however, but here is Shikashi instead of Tadashi. So right. it's less formal 
I guess it's it's still sane, however. Um, and- Tadashi feels more dramatic is how I say the difference. I, I wouldn't say there's like a difference in formality. I believe Shikashi is also used like in essays and stuff. It just Tadashi right. feels kind of aggressive. And that's what aggressive. she's going through in the previous sentence, right? However, if you happen to do anything else, I will not forgive you again. He's being a little bit dramatic here. Shikashi is right. like no emotion, I would say. Right. But uh, Tadashi feels a little bit emotional. But they're both on the plighter end. Like Demo should not really show up in your um, essays, but you could use Tadashi, I think. Hey, Wakata. <laughs> Shikashi. It's an on. Onna, koshaku no kiga. And this is the verb. Hanas. Good hanas, guess. Change, this huh? verb does mean to change, you're right. However, it's not pronounced as hanasu, it's pronounced as ka. Um, kawaru. Kawatte. What is the root form of this verb, Mani? Is it kaku? It's kawaru, but it can also be kaeru. Kaeru? Yeah. Just kaeru, I feel like, feels like like more common, I think, than kawaru. It's just the verb ka. It can also be pronounced as hen, like henna hito or hentai. Hai. Meaning strange or turn into something else. It's turned into perfect. Yeah, strange. So, kawaru with a ga means that this thing changes, while kaeru means I make something change. And like, oh, kaeru. Change. Kawatte is to change, to make something change. Hai. No, no, kawatte here is the ki ga is kawatte. Hai. So, the ki it changes. So, the intention here, ki stands for the intention of the duchess. Hai. And it's Right before the onna, referring to um, that woman, right? That's a good guess. Or itu we... is a time phrase. Itu, when. meaning when. when. That's why the end of this clause right here ends with ka. Kawa... Right. Ki ga kawate taiho sareru ka. That ka and that itu are part of the same sentence, basically. It's part of the same questioning clause, even though we do have two verbs here. Um, but these two are linked. When? Hai. When? So here we have tai ho sareru. Hai. So tai, uh, is it whole from capture? From yes. Capturing? It is the whole from capture. Oh. Like from suka, sukamu. It means um taiho is like to arrest versus um the word you're thinking of for capture, which does have hole in it. Hai. Hole. Taiho sareru is, is causative form. Hai. Uh, it is it passive. Cause the arrest. Oh, this is the passive form. Hai. De. Hai. Sareru, not saseru. So, so, so. Um. So it's saying will be captured if when the intention of the Duchess changes. I believe the subject of this sentence here is I. Yes. I will right. be captured. Yep. Um, I will be captured. Hmm. With. So, do you know why the. Itu is on here. Like I can't tell if you're like confused by the Kiga Kawadu part or not. Um I I understand Itsu as in it's saying when, but yeah. ka here is is working together with the Itsu. It's saying ka here end the sentence saying if so this the, is the case, right? So the yeah, but um ka is marking here because um this is an embedded question. So an embedded question basically means we have the word when in the sentence, but it's not necessarily, the sentence is not a question necessarily. It is a statement. So embedded questions show up in sentences that are statements that contain a question word inside of it. For example, you might say, 
I don't know if she likes pie. I'm not asking a question, does she like pie? I have a question inside of a statement. I do not know if she likes pie. So this ka here is saying this, we have an embedded question here, which is which is the one that has itu in it. Itu, though, is actually only modifying ki ga kawaru. She's not saying, when will she arrest me? She's saying, when will the duchess's opinion change? When will she change her mind? Um, or if she will change her mind. <coughs> Hi. And then when or if she changes her mind, Hi. I will be arrested. Hi. Because this te here is the and slash so ten, right? So when the Duchess changes her mind, so I get arrested, I what it was what does he think? What's the last part of the sentence? He say wakata mono de wa nai. Okay. So here we had wakata as the relative verb that modify Hi. mono. Hi. So the thing that I understand, dewa nai, I will not. So it, yes. So he's saying I, I won't. I won't understand. Yeah, I have no idea. I do not know, or I do not understand when or if kind of works better in English. If the Duchess will change her opinion and arrest me. Hmm. This is not so much understand, but he doesn't know. He doesn't yes. know the intentionality yes. or the duration of her intentionality marked by Itsu. Yeah. So to know and understand is marked by wakaru in Japanese. Um, it's just kind of like a weird thing versus um, shiru. Um, in general, uh, you don't want to use shiru when referring to a different person. Because um, I heard once when I was learning, which I can't find a source for, but that it feels a little bit rude. Like you might have heard an anime, sh sh shiruka, or things like that, where it's like, it kind of lays like almost blame on the person you're talking to. So if you said, um, uh, shitta mono de wa nai, that, 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 that would be kind of weird. Mm. It's not something that could possibly be known versus I... Wakado feels Wakado like more like logical and Shidu feels more emotional. I'll, I'll put it like I... that. So it's not necessarily rude to use Shidu, but in this context, he's he's more talking like logically rather than emotionally. He's like, it's not a known thing versus I don't know emotionally if this will happen. Mm. Yeah, a lot of times, he, like when people don't know something, they'll say Wakara nai. You don't really hear shiranai ever when someone doesn't know something, unless they're really mad, because then they're being emotional, right. not knowing. Right. Opinion. I think it's. It could be opinion. A, a, a opinion in a way, right, Mani? Because yeah, that phrase. It's, Kamo shiranai. Kamo shiranai. As in, like, I, I, it's in my Maybe. opinion. I don't. Know, right. Kamo shiranai. Yeah. yeah. So the shiru there, I'm just saying, is, is it has like emotion in it. Well, wakaru does not have emotion, just like shikashi doesn't have emotion. <laughs> so these are two non-emotional words. So wakaru is the unemotional version of shiru. So kamo shiru nai has emotion in it. Oh, that might be possible. So kamo hmm. wakara nai is not something people say, <laughs> but that would theoretically be the unemotional version of that. Very yeah, interesting. I, I agree with Very that. I I I starting to see how you see that how you pick up on this idea of emotion and just pure logic in the language. Mm -hmm. It's it seems sometimes they just want to use purely logical language to remove any emotionality out mm -hmm. of it so that they can speak in a relatively um poignant way. Yeah. With, exactly. Without like putting blame or or being rude or tippy toe on people. So so. Hi. So now he say. Yudan wa kimetsu da. Kimotsu. Motsu. Kimotsu da. Kin is the forbidden. Motsu is the thing that is forbidden. Yes. And, and apparently it is used to mean the word um to be cautious. 
like should oh, not no. do. Well, sorry, the should 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 not. So rather than saying it's forbidden, it's more like should not. Right? Look at it. It's like the thing that should be carefully avoided. Definitely not to do. Yeah. Yudan, here, the kanji for oil. Mm. Dan for to separate or to refuse. I don't think dan is to separate. Right? Isn't that the, the verb for like, I refuse an invitation? Maybe. I'm not sure what the refuse, refuse an invitation is. Um, you don is cautious. Um, to let your guard down. Sorry. It's to let your guard down. I see. But is that you kanji from the oil kanji, mommy? It is. That is you for oil. Uh, Don is judgment. I knew it. Judgment. That's my friend Wakadu earlier. I was like, is this the kanji for Wakadu? It's not. Um, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> we came across these strange kanji that kind of hard to kind of guess what it means. It's like oh, oil right. judgment. Judge the oil <laughs> is to let down your guard. <laughs> to judge the oil, to let down your guard. You done. I, you I, done. You done. Ma. Um, I guess that does make sense because in in these language come from ancient time and they had ancient notions of things. So in those days, if you don't have the right preparation for having the right amount of oil supply in your house, you will be you will have no lighting. That's possible. You'll be in the dark. It could even right. be like, be careful about making oil paintings because they're toxic. <laughs> <laughs> who, who knows? Hi. Uh, <laughs> that is also used up in the word for oil painting. So, <laughs> oil right. Paint, yeah. So but you you never reason, know where the story comes from. <laughs> but the the reason I say that though, because in in biblical story, there's are these stories of you always have to uh, stockpile on your oil lamp. As in, you need to be careful. Mm. If you run out of your oil lamp, you're gonna you're not gonna have lamp. You're gonna be in the dark. Oh. So I completely understand this notion of you done now. So, um, so to be cautious. And this is actually where we're going to pause for this as our halfway point. I'm like keep an eye on the clock because I'm like I'm I'm basically a minus it by ten minutes. Because that's about how right. long I think it took to turn on and off the computer. But I'm, I but money right right yeah. before that it's. This little piece say, caution is to be avoided. Is that what it say? Oh, no. You done is to let down your guard. Oh, to let down your guard. To let down your guard is to be avoided. Yeah. I'm just yeah. like, I like translated the, the sentence. I need to be cautious. I said, I must not let down my guard. Mm -hmm. I ought to not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, see you in two seconds in a new Zoom meeting.